Well, it's more than just football games. This morning, different events will kick off the Capital City Classic. All of this happening in Baton Rouge and Mayor Pro Tam Lamont Cole and Terrell Jackson with Broad Marketing Forum are here with all of the details. Gentlemen, thank both of you all for joining us. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. So, of course, like I said, they all start this morning. And start this morning. And it's all fun, but you all are also hosting some very serious events. Tell us about something that's happening during the daytime. Well, first and foremost, thanks for having us. It's, it's, can you feel it? I'm excited the Capital <laughs> Classic is here. Uh, so, you know, this week we have over 20 events taking place here in the city of Baton Rouge. This morning we kick off with economic empowerment. We're going to talk to people, young entrepreneurs, and even older entrepreneurs about how to do business, how to secure contracts locally, statewide, and federally, how to uh, firm up your business, uh, becoming DBE certified, whatever that might look like. And so we're excited about that this morning. That kicks off at 9 at the downtown library. Uh, tonight we're going to have an event where old school meets the new school, a generational conversation about the tailgate experience here in our city from historically until now, what that looks like and how we can bridge the gap. So we're just excited. Tomorrow, we're going to have law enforcement tomorrow come out and talk to uh, the youth, both middle and high school, about perceptions, right? Perceptions versus reality in terms of what police think about young people and what young people think about law enforcement. That's going to be a really good conversation. On Friday, we have a big health fair, right, where we're asking everybody in the community to come out, uh, blood screen blood pressure checks, heart screens, uh, cancer checks, and things of that nature. That's being hosted by the American Cancer Society and Eye Care. So we're really excited about all we have going on this week. There is a forensics festival over at Liberty Magnet High School on Thursday. And so just a lot of good things happening all over the city. And we're just excited to be able to do this work again this year and showcase our city. This is about the city of Baton Rouge. Yeah, we got two great football games happening Saturday, but for those who are coming in and for those who live here, we just want to showcase how great the city of Baton Rouge is and the diversity of events we have going on. Some fun, some serious, but all uh, designed to make sure people understand what the issues are and figure out a path forward to make this an even better city. And so in Terrell, of course, for people who uh, have to work and of course can't make it in the daytime events, there mm -hmm. are some nighttime activities as well. Absolutely. Well, you know, last year we, we kind of catapulting off last year. It was when Southern played LSU historically for the first time. So. Uh, we, we just, we, we sensed the whole, the unity of the city. You know, everyone came together. It was a pleasant surprise and it was overwhelming to see how, how wonderful uh, everyone collaborating, got along together and partied and celebrated together uh, around, sitting around the game. But as Mr. Cole alluded to, you know, it's bigger than a game. So uh, tomorrow, in addition to all the enrichment activities we have during the daytime, uh, we start some evening events. Thursday evening, we have a, a alumni welcome reception. That's going to be a blend uh, for all the alumni, uh, special folks. You make sure you can give myself a call or Mr. Cole a call. We'll make sure we take care of you. That's absolutely free. But uh, Thursday evening, we're starting off at the Varsity Theater with a big R&B explosion. It's a, it's a genre themed event uh, with Bobby Valentino coming to town. That's going to be special for all my old school R&B lovers. Friday is a humongous, uh, it's huge. It's our first time doing this one. It's a music festival to be housed at Southern University in Activity Center. Ex F.G. Clark Activity Center with Jeezy and a host of other special guests. And, and that's though we sold thousands of tickets for that already. So I want to encourage everyone to get their tickets. Uh, for a Saturday, there's a sound stage at Southern University's campus. Um, and of course, those nights we have alumni after parties and Red Stick Social is going to be a, the hub for that right there on Government Street. And it's, it's just a lot of moving parts to this. Parts to this, of course, during the daytime we have a lot of enrichment. Evening we have a lot of entertainment, but it's all centered around making this Capital Classic a monumental event. And I know you all are capitalizing off of last year, but why do you all feel that it's important to hold these events, especially when it comes to policing and the community? There is expansion events, all of the seriousness That's of right. it. Well, I, I think for one, you know, it's bigger than a game, as Terrell said, and we have to think about what our desired outcomes are, what are they in the city, and what the purpose is for us bringing people together. And that's to ensure that while we celebrate and have fun, we recognize there are challenges here in our city. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of people, a lot of folks who are working towards solving our solutions to those challenges. And so we want to talk about that. We want to bring out, you, you did mention the expungement process that is going to go on at the Leo Butler Center on Friday. There is a movie 
movie premiere tomorrow night called Right to Read, and it's about the literacy or lack thereof in the, in the, in the United States of America and what needs to happen to improve literacy, particularly in underserved communities. And so, you know, we, we met, we started this process early on, early this year. Uh, we worked with some folks, uh, Chris Meyer over at the Baton Rouge Area Foundation. We got some sponsors who came on to help facilitate these events, uh, Visit Baton Rouge, uh, Red Reed Vodka, Coca-Cola, AT&T. A whole lot of people came together to help facilitate these events and putting them on and making sure we're able to uh, host the city, uh, show people, showcase the city, and then make sure as folks come in from Jackson State, coming in from Grambling University, all the alumni from Louisiana State University and Southern University are going to come in for the weekend, we want to make sure they have something to do. We want to diversify those events so they learn, right, they can engage and have fun all at the same time. And so we know those of us who live here and Terrell and I grew up here, Baton Rouge is a wonderful city. Yes. But we also want to make sure people who don't live here understand how great it is. And for those who may be seeking to move here, we want to showcase all of the wonderful things we have going on here. Lauren Dago is going to be uh, at the River Center on Friday for mm -hmm. a concert. Uh, city Year is hosting uh, their Schoolhouse Rock on Friday night as part of the Capital City Classic. So, you know, there are a number of events I'm probably forgetting and a number of sponsors I, I may have forgotten, mm -hmm. Terrell. But the most important part, this is Baton Rouge. Yeah. And we love this city. We have two great universities here. We have a great junior college system here. Baton Rouge uh, Community College is hosting uh, some leadership seminar on Thursday afternoon. And so a lot of wonderful things going on. And we're just excited to be a part of it, to host, to be able to facilitate. But most importantly, we're just proud to be uh, residents of the city of Baton Rouge. And because there is so much going on, real quickly, where can people go and find uh, information about all of what's happening, where and when. You can find all of our enrichment daytime events, all of our evening entertainment events, and of course all, all of our sponsors and partners on our website, capitalclassicbr.com. Once again, that's www.capitalclassicbr.com.